Taking a step back and looking at all of the AI products that have been released so far, there is one product that stands out as easily the most potent on the market and that would be ChatGPT by OpenAI. They've taken a really high level advanced technology, AI large language models, and they've put it into this package that's completely free and really easy to use. And really it's been for us consumers, the average everyday Joe, not some big company. Although you will remember this. Originally when ChatGPT came out, Amazon employees were using it to 10x their coding abilities, make them way better at their jobs. And they kind of got in trouble for sharing that proprietary Amazon code with OpenAI through ChatGPT. So as useful and popular as ChatGPT has been for the average everyday person, companies haven't really been able to use it at all to increase their productivity unless they want to risk leaking their information to OpenAI. Because as we know, OpenAI trains their AI large language models on the conversations it has with ChatGPT. But all of this changes today with a really, really big important announcement from OpenAI. Today, they announced on Twitter that they are introducing something called ChatGPT Enterprise. This is enterprise-grade security, unlimited high-speed GPT-4 access, extended content windows, and much, much more. They say they're going to be onboarding as many enterprises as possible over the next few weeks. This is something we've been waiting for and we've been expecting OpenAI to do. But before we dive in, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by none other than NordVPN. Now, if you're looking for the fastest VPN with over 5,300 servers in 60 different countries, look no further than NordVPN. With Nord, you can connect to any server in the world with just one click. Or if you're more of the set it and forget it type, you can enable auto connect for zero click protection. It's really that easy. You viewers watching at home are lucky because you get my exclusive deal. If you purchase a two year plan, you'll get an extra four bonus months on top. Other channels in this campaign are only getting an extra three. So with my custom URL linked in the description below, you're getting an additional bonus month. How cool is that? Across all of NordVPN's plans, they got you covered. And guess what? It's entirely risk-free with their 30-day money-back guarantee. So no worries if it's not for you. What's also really nice is NordVPN actually lets you change your location to other countries around the world. So if there's a certain AI service or AI website that's not available in your country, you can simply use NordVPN to use that app. No matter what you're into, whether it be movies or tech, NordVPN's threat protection offers a safer and smoother experience with its ability to block intrusive ads and actually scan for malware actively and it does all of this while still maintaining a really fast internet speed i literally notice a zero percent difference in how fast my internet is pretty impressive if you ask me so don't miss out on this exclusive nordvpn deal head over to the description and secure yourself with some nordvpn special thanks to nordvpn for sponsoring today's video now back to your regularly scheduled video we knew that the original form of ChatGPT wasn't really cutting it for businesses, mainly due to those aforementioned privacy concerns, but also because ChatGPT is designed to work as a one-on-one -on -one consumer level product. It's not really meant to be used by a huge business. Today marks another step towards an AI assistant for work that helps with any task, is customized for your organization, and protects your company data. We believe AI can assist and elevate every aspect of our working lives, making teams more creative and productive. We have many more features in the works, including a self-serve business offering and the ability to securely extend ChatGPT's knowledge with your company data. We'll launch these as soon as possible and will continue to evolve based on early customer feedback. I do think that AI is powerful enough and ChatGPT is powerful enough to help with pretty much any task in business in some way, shape, or form. This is the part that is the most concerning, protecting company data. Later in this video, I am going to go over a solution that doesn't involve OpenAI that I wonder if a lot of companies are interested in taking instead because it might be more secure. So taking a deeper dive in the actual blog post, longer context windows for processing 
having longer inputs. This means that OpenAI has been working on much larger context window AI. Classically, OpenAI actually has been sort of lacking in that department in comparison to other companies. You see, these AIs can only take so much information at once, and the text that you input is actually processed by the AI as tokens. Now, 100 tokens, give or take, is about 75 words. So, the base version of ChatGPT that we have today that's completely free, not ChatGPT+, Plus, can take about 3,000 words. That's a decent amount of text, but it's certainly not a book or a bunch of company information. Now, ChatGPT+, Plus, the 20 bucks a month, will upgrade you to about 6,000 words twice as many. However, let's take a quick peek at one of ChatGPT's biggest competitors. This is Anthropic's Claude 2. It's completely free to use right now, and as you can see, it's basically a ChatGPT competitor. We can actually add PDF, text, CSV files, stuff like that. We can input a lot of text. How much, you might be wondering? Well, Claude 2 has a 100,000 token limit, putting it in the range of 75,000 words. In comparison to OpenAI's paid ChatGPT 6000, you can see where there's some competition on the enterprise level with lots and lots of data, probably 75,000 words worth of data. If you guys want to get a better idea for how much this can accept, we'll go ahead here and download the entire GPT-4 technical report as a PDF, and we'll drag it into Claude 2. Write a poem about this research paper. Hopefully, this is giving you an idea of the level that OpenAI is going to have to compete at. This is an entire technical report, and we get a nice flowing poem from it. OpenAI also mentions that advanced data analysis capabilities will be available with this enterprise version. Now, this actually takes me back to my ChatGPT code interpreter video, where we actually did perform data analysis. I think this is an often overlooked feature of ChatGPT+, Plus, but code interpreter is quite good. In this video, we took a look at a bunch of different demonstrations and really tried it out for ourselves. There's a scatter plot of song loudness versus yield. Year. It can actually plot functions perfectly well, plot the frequency of artist names. So I have no doubt that, you know, a version of Code Interpreter is what is powering this enterprise model, or at least this data analytics and statistics attribute. However, as we did end up seeing in this video, it didn't really approach every single task as well as we had hoped, and it definitely left some things to be desired. One of those definitely being a larger context window to and put more data into the AI. So hopefully this advanced data analysis capabilities that they're broadly mentioning is a much more capable as well as information digestible version of Code Interpreter. They also say customization options. I don't really know what that means. Hopefully the customization options allow businesses to create a version of ChatGPT specifically for that company because that's what a lot of businesses really would like, especially if they're going to have a bunch of their employees using this all the time. It's going to have its own customized interface for that specific workflow that they're doing and so on. They do state that they've seen unprecedented demand for ChatGPT inside of organizations. Obviously, this is true. Apparently, teams have adopted it regardless of the safety concerns. And we've heard from business leaders that they'd like a simple and safe way to deploy it in their organization. Yeah, no doubt. But the early users of ChatGPT Enterprise say that it does redefine how they operate. Clearer communications, accelerating coding tasks, rapidly explore answers to complex business questions, assist with creative work, and much more. How far off are we from just having an AI run the business itself, really? But it's good to see that some reputable companies here are benefiting from ChatGPT Enterprise. Now, this is what we were looking for. Protect your data with enterprise-grade privacy, security, and deployment tools. You own and control your business data in ChatGPT Enterprise. They do not train on your business data. I sure hope not or conversations and our models don't learn from your usage. So SOC 2 compliant and all conversations are encrypted in transit and at rest. So that will definitely give a lot of businesses and companies a sigh of relief. Ah, their new admin console lets you manage team members easily and offer domain verification, SSO, and usage insights. Cool. Allowing for large-scale deployments into enterprise. That's nice. 
Again, it would be a massive scandal if this was all a lie and OpenAI actually was collecting some data, but I think this is definitely enough to give corporations a nice safety blanket, a nice cozy way to not really worry about their data getting leaked. Still, some businesses will be a little bit more secure than others and just stay away from it all, especially if they don't know how AI works. As I stated earlier, no usage caps at all, performs up to two times faster, wow. You know, it would be nice if we got the two times faster in ChatGPT Plus as well, because sometimes that thing takes a little bit to load or even fails. So they're including the 32K context in Enterprise. If you guys saw one of my previous videos, you could already have access to. I'll link that video down below. But 32K context is pretty decent and is enough to do quite a lot of enterprise grade work. However, it's still not that 100K that we just saw with Claude 2 analyzing an entire research paper. You would not have been able to paste that research paper inside of this 32K context window. For reference, that's about 24,000 words. That's still like three times less than what we just saw with that entirely free Claude 2. So I think OpenAI still has some work to do in terms of that context window. So ChatGPT Enterprise also has unlimited access to what they call data analysis, previously known as, like I said, code interpreter. So what I want to know is, is this exactly the same thing as Code Interpreter? Because Code Interpreter did not have that 32K context. And if you watched my original testing video, it had quite a bit of limitations, although not entirely useless. This feature enables both technical and non-technical teams to analyze information in seconds. Maybe they've made some updates. They don't really give us too much information. So this is available today. Again, it's like a contact sales thing. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching at home are not going to be using ChatGPT Enterprise, but I'm going to be very interested to see what leaks out from this and what businesses tell us about ChatGPT Enterprise. And of course, as an enterprise solution, every cost is going to be different based on different business needs. That's why it's a contact sales and not a here's our pricing. Bigger businesses are going to be paying a lot more and smaller businesses are going to be paying a lot less. I think a lot of businesses are going to get a head start against their competition by utilizing ChatGPT Enterprise. Any kind of AI integration at this point puts you far, far ahead of the competition. That's just how good AI is. It's really interesting to see that they're kind of mostly just integrating products that we already had access to, but with a higher level of customization and security. But for now, that might just be all that businesses really need to accelerate their production. However, there is one thing that really seems to stand out here, and that is the fact that you're still using this private, censored, non-open source large language model. And open source large language models do in fact exist, and they can run on a company's own servers, let's say. Maybe a less technologically advanced company wouldn't be interested at all, but some companies that maybe operate already in the tech industry might find it easier to run their own personal large language models with their own fine tunings and stuff like that. Remember guys, it was not that long ago that Meta AI introduced Llama 2, which is an open source large language model that can be run and used for commercial use. This would allow for levels of customization even far beyond what OpenAI is going to allow in their enterprise version. However, it's going to take a lot of research, development, and building for businesses to really make use of Llama 2. But it might just be worth it in the end because you're getting a higher level of fine-tunability and control over these models. They're fully open source. And plus, if you are a software company that does a lot of coding, which, let's be honest, a huge majority of tech companies are going to be doing, CodeLama is actually right up there with OpenAI's GPT-4 in terms of coding abilities, even better than just that base version of ChatGPT. So there's some serious competition when it comes to these coding models. I don't know, for a very technologically advanced company that does a lot of coding, Code Llama and just some open source fine tuning might be all you need to actually surpass that ChatGPT enterprise that you would have to pay for. Keep that in mind too. Llama 2 is entirely free. You just have to pay for your own GPU usage and electricity. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. And to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in AI, I recommend you check out my Discord server linked down in the description. Check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.